Now, defense officials say they're working right now diligently to figure out who leaked highly classified documents linked to the war in Ukraine. Catherine Herridge brings us the latest on the investigations. Tonight, Defense Secretary Austin acknowledged the leaked documents were exposed on the web potentially for weeks. Where exactly and who had access uh, at that point, uh, we, we don't know. We simply don't know at this point. The probe, being led by FBI investigators, is making progress. Austin drilled down on key dates. Uh, the documents that, uh, that we are aware of are dated the 28th of February and 1st of March. I don't know if there are other documents that, are, that have been online before. As the investigation accelerates, two officials tell CBS News it does not appear to be a cyber leak, but rather a physical theft of highly classified material. Before the leak, sources say about 1,000 people or more potentially had access. It has since been scaled back. How will the FBI and Pentagon investigators narrow the universe of suspects? It's actually easier the higher the level of classification of a brief. Robert Anderson, who worked counterintelligence and espionage at the FBI, told CBS News highly classified material is also highly restricted, and that should help investigators. You're really going to start looking at who was it shared with and who had access, and particularly who couriered it and who brought it to and fro. The leaked records were apparently printed before being photographed and uploaded to Discord, a gaming platform. There are potential clues buried in the background, like a hunting magazine ad or sports equipment. That could bring investigators even closer. Meanwhile, the administration is dealing with a diplomatic fallout. We have engaged with allies and partners at high levels uh, over the, uh, the, past, uh, the past days, including uh, to uh, reassure them about our own commitment to safeguarding intelligence. And Catherine Herridge joins us now from outside the Pentagon. Catherine, you've been reviewing some of these leaked documents, or at least the images of the leaked documents. Just how highly classified are they? Well, Errol, good to be with you. Uh, the big picture is that most of them appear to be intelligence related to classified military briefs. But when you drill down on some of these images posted online, you'll see that they're secret and then there's top secret, something called SCI, which is special com compartmented information, which means it's very close hold and that the sources and methods are very delicate. You'll also see something called TK, which is talent keyhole. That's the acronym for overhead imagery, a very sensitive satellite imagery. So that tells you that this is really highly classified information. And that actually works to the benefit of investigators because there would be a relatively small pool of people who would have access. And so that can generate a lot of leads in this case, Errol. It's so intriguing. And as your report spelled out, there is a DOJ a criminal investigation, but there is more than one probe looking into all right. of this. So how many investigations are we talking about here? Well, let's start here at the Pentagon. Their investigation is looking at the scope, how many people had access to the information, and then also the broader national security impact. The Justice Department and FBI are leading the criminal investigation, and that's looking for the source or sources of these leaked documents, whether it's an individual, an American citizen, or it may even be an individual who's working at the direction of a foreign adversary, or it could be very deep espionage. And then finally, you're looking at this damage assessment from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, that's the nation's top intelligence officer. And they're looking not only as the at the national security implications, but also whether these delicate sources and methods were compromised. I think, especially in this case, what they call human, which is human intelligence or signals intelligence. That's the NSA. And that's the kind of intelligence that informs the view in the records about the thinking of Vladimir Putin's associates, even Ukraine's President Zelensky. Errol? Love it. Very highly sensitive, intriguing stuff here and so much more to find out as the days and weeks move on. Catherine Herridge at the Pentagon. Thank you very much. You're welcome.